In this Planet Zoo tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a habitat from start to finish, step by step. This will hopefully make better your own habitats and creations, as you will see all the big steps I take and all the little different tips and building techniques that I use. And if you wish, because it is step by step, you can even build along with me. So this video is actually more catered to the new player, but it's something I've not actually done. I've got many tutorials, including how to improve your habitat and many speed builds on my channel for Planet Zoo. But what I've not got is a video what takes its time and shows my thought process and does it step by step. I follow a certain set of rules and a certain set of criteria when it comes to creating habitats. And I wanna go through it nice and slowly with you lot. So hopefully you'll get better at creating your own habitats so after you've got any animal in mind what you're going to create a habitat for in this instance we're going to go with the warthog for this demonstration it's time for the first step in my like kind of like rules would you call them and that is hard shelter because this is going to be the main building and the thing what your guest is most going to be drawn to the eyes are going to touch your hard shelter first Obviously the theme of the build is totally up to you. For this, we're gonna go with like a rustic, realistic kind of theme. Um, I'm not used to doing that. I'm used to creating modern stuff, but let's go with it. So I'm gonna choose this stone wall because I just really like the look of it. That's a little bit too small. So I'm just gonna add one. There we go. That's the right height, I do believe. Now with this, we wanna create a custom wall. Um, obviously, anything you see in this video you don't have to do it's just what i like doing so to create this custom wall again a lovely lovely thing i like to use i love these conservation pieces they're so versatile they look good in any build we're going to recolor this to a more darker brown though let's like that we're just going to do that sticking out of there we'll do one on there as well I love the stained pieces because when you're doing like builds like this, like rustic, kind of like low budget ha looking habitats, it just works really well. I'm gonna go circular, that'll do. And I'm just gonna line these up. I don't like the color, so let's change the paint color again to this kind of brown, change that there, it's a lighter brown. We want to do everything on the same group because all you're going to do is just duplicate this over and you've got yourself a custom wall i'm going to move advanced and duplicate these over once we get about halfway we can just select them all so let's do one more and then let's just hold control and select all these or you can even hold control and just drag it like that and then click on the ones you don't want that's easier and then just move them over like that. We'll do it again, like so. Okay, it didn't work. Let's hold control, select these. I don't claim to be the best builder in Planet Zoo, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Right, let's move this down so it's nice and level with that, like so. And that's gonna form our custom wall now. And then what we're gonna do now is we're going to think about the actual creation we could just select this we'll put one spur over here in case we need to edit it and then we're going to go i'm going to go there and there like that then we're going to go around the corner there like that All the way around, let's close it off. Like I said, this is going to be the main hard shelter for the warthog or whatever animal you decide to build for. Then here, we're going to get what's actually called this mason work. Mason. And what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. like this like this and this is going to be how our warthogs get in and out of the actual habitat itself and now i'm worried about it looking too tall you know 
I am worried about that. It is too tall. See, if something doesn't fit, don't just bypass it. Change it. Like so. Fill these gaps in. We're going to have the door here, so let's select the doorway so we get that. And then we're going to delete that. And we're going to delete these ones in between now to create the doorway. Delete that. So we need to re put smaller ones there, the trim. And then style this up a bit. And then we're going to put mesh gates here, I believe, or maybe even like a little ramp down and in. So this is going to be the foundation of the hard shell. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to spruce this up a little bit, add the things I need to. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video. And yeah, you'll see how it all comes together. Right, it's now time to add the floor. So what I want to do, obviously if I hold control, I can't actually get this lower enough to just go over the path. The aim is to get this lower so the path could just sit in, there, in it and our guests look like they've got a custom floor to walk over. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to split this from the group. This will help us lower it down. I'll just show you in a minute. So let's place our floor in. Like that. And then... I kind of want plaster pieces for the actual animals to walk over. Like that. Click that in. And now we just need to press X and just lower this down. Like that. So that's the floor in. Now we've got to think about roof. Now I always suggest building the inside of this before you put the roof on but i like i've changed my mind recently i'm not going to lie i like to know how the whole build is going to look before i start building the, the inside so here's a bit more fiddly to do to build the inside when there's a roof on but that's what i'm going to do so roof we're going to go up with plaster pieces i'm going to show you a little trick as well i want to add it to the same group so it lines up now that roof to me just looks a little bit square on doesn't it we want an overhang so to get an overhang all you have to do first we'll place everything around like this we just need to change the grid dimensions really let's get that in there like that and then we want to change the grid on the bottom right to one meter and then just do an overhang like so just like this just go around it all the way until you meet up on the other side like that and there we have got the roof. Now, I don't like the colour of this roof. So let's... Should have done this at the beginning. But I'm not perfect, honestly. Like I said, I'm not the best builder in Planet Zoo. But I do alright, you know. I do alright. Kind of know my way around. Just going to select all these by holding control and left clicking. Bit of a pain in the ass to do. Should have changed the colour at the start. But we didn't. 
Right. And now we're going to change the colour to that. Kind of like a darker grey. And then we're going to put a trim on this. We're going to put a metal trim on this. Let's type in metal. Let's use these pieces here. I like this piece to put a trim. What's this piece called? New World Architecture Gr Girder Painted. I'm going to recolor it to darker gray, like so. Then we're just going to place this around the edge, like this. Once we've done one side, we would have done the other. So we just need to go on this. I'm actually going to split this from the group just to make it a little bit more easier. And then we'll just duplicate it over, slide it over, and we'll add that one. And then we're going to do it again. But we're going to rotate it this time, duplicate it over, slide it over, line it up. I'm going to have to delete one, two maybe, let's fill in the gap, like this, now we know that is perfectly going to fit when we slide it over this time, just like that, and there we go, now we're going to add supports, again conservation, Pieces. Where are you? There you are. I'm actually going to thicken this up as well. So, to thin that, so all I'm going to do is place two next to each other. Merge the scenery pieces together. Change the colour to the colours we've been using, like that. And then just move it over like so so it covers that gap and it looks kind of like it supports the roof just like that and there's one duplicate it over like we did with the trim on the roof then we're going to actually put these together and just slide them over by duplicating them once again to finish off the last two corners like that so that's all the gaps finished and that is our hard shelter pretty much finished obviously there's some little details well I'll probably throw in at the end but now it's time to move on to step two of creating a habitat and that is the pathing we're going to keep things nice and simple and nice and square on the same grid with this one so i just need to select a path i want to select a line to grid and i want to align it to this building so hover over the building you'll see this grid appear click on it you can see now this path is aligned to the grid. Remember, this is where the habitat gate is going to be, so we do not want a path there. We can go ahead and start placing the path on the inside of the building, if I can get in. We want to leave a gap as well, because remember, the habitat gate needs actually comes with a path, so we're going to leave a gap. And we're just going to run this along like this. This is where our zookeepers can come in and tend to our warthogs. Now we need to think about, oh, I'm going to have the entrance here, like this. We're going to have to delete that but that's not a problem and then we're going to path out where we want our guests to be able to walk so i'm thinking for this we've got out one out two and then we're just going to come along like this doesn't have to be a big habitat because we are building for the common warthog Let's do something like that maybe. I might change it, but that looks good so far. So far, so good. And now I like to try to think about what it's going to look like next. So obviously, we need a habitat barrier. So that is our next step. We need a habitat barrier to put all the way around here. 
I'm going to do two different barriers here. I'm going to do a guest barrier and an animal barrier. Now I'm going to do it the animal barrier using mesh pieces and the guest barrier using the wood pieces. The same wood pieces that we've used here to keep the same kind of theme. So we can actually just drag these. Let's have a look. Drag this across. We exit the group. I'm going to turn it over. And this is how I go about designing a guest barrier. I'm just going to have it very simple again. Um, blueprints, right. Very important. Get yourself on the Steam Workshop and get yourself this blueprint. It's called the Archer. If you've not already got it, of course, because this is the exact same size as any guest in Planet Zoo. So we place that down there. We can see where the barrier will come up to for scale against our guest in Planet Zoo. Brilliant. Amazing. We know that's about right now. Arms just going on the top. Maybe it needs to come up a little bit higher. So let's pair them together and just move it up a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to go conservation pieces again. I'm going to go there like that. Change the colour of it again, like that. And we want this two metres. So, let's select them. Move them over. Select this. Move this over. And there is a very simple guest barrier done. So we're going to group this. All we have to do then is move this over and just line it up against the path, just like this. Let's put that there. And we're just gonna go all the way around now, so let's speed things up and do that. Now, if you get to the end and there's a little gap like this, don't worry, nothing's ever perfect in life. I can just select these now like this and I can merge them together and I can just duplicate them over. Just make life a little bit easier for yourself like that. I'm going to leave these gaps here because I'm not sure how I want them to look yet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go on a line to grid on the path again and we're going to come in two meters. And you might be thinking, why the hell are you doing this, Adam? This is where our habitat gate is is going to be just gives us a nice little indicator i like to leave a four meter gap and the paths are exactly four meter so now let's create our habitat gate first thing we want is mesh so let's get the mesh like that any mesh, again, design is totally up to you. But we're going to go with, where is it? Not that one, this one. I'm going to colour that to black just so you can see it a little bit easier. I do recommend doing that if you're using mesh. And again, we're going to go in with the conservation pieces. As you probably realise, I kind of love the conservation pieces. So, let's line this up. Rotate it around. Recolour it to the colour what we've been using throughout the build. Line it up nice and neat, make sure none is poking out the top like it was doing then. I'm just going to place that down. Again, line it up, make sure nothing is poking out the top like that. And then we're going to come in the bottom. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. So we're going to come in the bottom. And we're going to come in the top. Then we're going to merge them all together and we're going to heighten it. And then these side panels, we're going to duplicate down. Again, because in real life, it just wouldn't be flush against the floor. How would they move them? They had to. It just looks better like that. Now we're going to spruce this up a little bit by adding a little bit of details. And I like to add, if I can find it, these, the Planet Zoo sign bracket. 
Now, once you add these, it kind of looks like, bear with me, kind of looks like it's holding the mesh together, doesn't it? Let's add one there. One there. And one there. We can even put the... Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Like I always say, if you're not happy with something, change it. What I'm going to do with these... I'm actually going to put them on the bottom. And on the top. It's like that. We're going to add a little bit of overhang so our guests cannot throw stuff in. Well, it gives the impression our guests cannot throw stuff in. Again, conservation pieces. I do suggest keeping the same theme throughout, using the same kind of pieces. It does end up gelling together quite well. We don't need a lot of overhang. We're going to do it at an angle like this. Pull it down like that. Move this over. Like that. Let's get the mesh pieces again. And we want the long one at this time. That one. Change it to black so it stands out more. And just line these up. Like that. Make sure these are the same colours. And that is our custom fence so now we've got an animal fence and a guest guest fence and all we have to do make sure it's all together and do like we did last time move it over and then line it up all around the outside of this path so let's speed that up again now i've come to the end of this but see it goes out the roof so we need to alter this or to make a lower fence so which we're going to do first of all we're going to select these like we did with last time the guest fencing put them together and then move them over i'll take them round line them up just like that select this one bring this over Line it up. And there we go. And now we're going to delete this path. We're going to actually select a path that we do want. Maybe this. No. These, this one. I really like this one. You can use no paths and create custom paths, but we're not going to go that deep into detailing this. What we're going to do with this is we're just going to fill this gap. So we're going to come there. We're going to select them, duplicate them over, and just fill that gap. And then same with here, we're just going to fill this gap. So again, mesh fence. Smaller mesh fence this time. Change it to black. Just like that. Put these together so it counts as one. I'm going to slide that in. Just like that. Then we're going to grab one of these so it's nice and level. Move it over like that. Might be too long, this, you know, it won't be perfect. Just like that. And we've filled that gap as well. Let's just put this one down. Let's level with this. Move this mesh fence up. Like that. I'll grab these pieces from this one just so they all look the same. Put it on there. And we'll put it on there. So now, right, look how far we've come. We've now got 
the hard shell to pretty much done apart from little detailing we've got the path in and we've got two separate gates giving it that realistic and most of all better looking experience for your habitats so let's have a little recap here we started with the hard shelter we then went onto the pathing we then went onto the fencing then with the three steps i like to take first everything everything from here now is just filler and it, it it mainly is it's so easy from here now you've got the main elements in it's so easy so in this gap here you can put pebbles you can put stones you can put foliage you can put rock work you can put every anything you want to create kind of like a natural barrier between these two barriers inside is obviously all foliage and habitat items and enrichment titles and stuff like this gaps here is all rock work and foliage inside which i'll show you doing show me doing should i say is going to be like a separate um hard shelter for the animals um so it's going to have like mesh pieces and where our bedding is going to be for privacy for the animals where they'll be able to sleep um at the top we're going to redesign the roof a little bit and add a little bit of detailing but everything right now the main structure and the main elements of your habitat are in if you follow those three steps first and before I show you me filling in these gaps and how I go about it, I'm going to show you how to put a habitat gate in, which will work. Obviously, we've designated this area for the habitat gate. We know it's going there. So let's go on barriers. Habitat gate, you can put any habitat gate in, as long as it's not one of the low down ones, because we've got that kind of high difference, haven't we? Any habitat gate doesn't really matter. So we're going to rotate that round. Remember, we left the path. You see, it's joining onto the path. This is why we left that gap for the path, remember? And we're just going to line this up. And we're going to put it about, I would say, just on the inside of the concrete, maybe. Line it up. Try to get it as even as possible. There. Uh, to select it don't want this brick so we're going to click on this circle and we're going to click on no and all of this is now going to be a no barrier we've got our entrance to our habitat this is where our lovely animals will be able to get in and all we're going to do now is just wrap the null barrier around the outside of this pretty easy well there's two ways of doing it if you want to save this as a blueprint or up to the steam workshop i suggest wrapping your null barrier all the way around as much as possible and to do this i would probably come out here out here and i'd just literally just wrap it around doesn't matter it doesn't need to be nice and neat if you want to make it nice and neat you can do and i'll just keep going around like this and then i'll join it like that there you go in if you put your animals in here as long as the gaps are filled on the left and right of course your animals will stay in because you've got this barrier that we've already made and but if you do not want to have this as a steam workshop and you just want it in your own zoos you can just simply do this so delete all these delete all these we'll re-put the habitat gate back in nice and neat like that again same process make them all to null and you don't need to include this building. You can just go around the outside of your actual gates like this, which I'm going to do. By the way, this build will be on my Steam Workshop page, but you're not going to want it, are you? You're not going to go and download it because you now know how to effectively build your own habitats and building your own is always better building someone else's building someone else's downloading someone else's should i say let's go inside now just line that up being much neater with this one as you can see line that up and then boom there we go there's your barrier in and done now is the most time consuming part of the video i'll do this segment in all speed build kind of 
Now is probably the most time consuming part of any build and of this video. So I'm gonna speed it up, I'll do a little voiceover and then I'll bring you back once I've created everything and finished this habitat to give you a little tour and we'll get the warthogs in and I'll show you how happy they are in this habitat. And there we have it. There is our kind of like natural barrier between the two barriers. That makes sense. But yeah, you can see how much of a different foliage makes in this game. Just layer it. I like to do it in layers. So you'll see me, see me do the rock work first. And kind of like the grass. I love the different grasses in this game. I just poke them over the rocks to make it look more realistic and more authentic. So now we need to think about filling these gaps with rock works. Now that those gaps are filled, we're gonna jump in the inside of our hard shelter and complete that. What we're gonna do is create a mesh fence on here. And we're gonna add some little of the conservation props like brush and stuff like that. Again, to give it that more realistic theme. As you can see, it's very fiddly to build stuff once the roof is on. So like I said near the start of this, when I was building this hard shelter, build the inside first. I know you're supposed to be following my steps here, but I'm very advanced at building. So I like to make stuff a little bit harder for myself. No, seriously, build the inside first before you build the roof. I just like to see how the roof would look. It kind of just helps me create. I need to delete this because I totally forgot. We need to create an actual doorway where our zookeepers can get in. So let's delete all these. Just like that. Do do do. Very time consuming, which got to be done. Miss one there. And then again, we're going to nick this door just like this. I'm just going to create the same door. It's so simple to do. Let's get these pieces. Like that. Bring this over here. And just build out this door, really. Like 
and I deleted way too many of these. I do want it to line up. Like that. Bring this in. Like that. Bring this in. Like that. There we go. We've got a doorway again. As for this Habitat gate, it just won't do. So let's build an actual door on here. If you get flickering like this, all you have to do is bring it out and then bring it back in. And it won't stop the flickering. Bring it sideways as well, bring it back in. And hopefully, there we go, stop the flickering. there we go we have a door right let's add some more foliage add the habitat items what the animal needs and then finish off that lovely inside of that hard shelter and i'll do this in a stop motion kind of way to show you how i add stuff very simple but very effective stuff is about to add it especially props the first thing we need to do is change our terrain and we want soil because we are building for the warthogs after all and they like a lot of soil and soil goes very well with this habitat on the inside of the habitat you can see i've already added here and this is where the hogs will sleep but just spruce it up a little bit with items that you will see well on the inside of a habitat so buckets and spades and forks and stuff like that and then i like to hang well give the impression that these buckets are hanging on the actual gates as kind of like feeding stations for the animals and for a little bit more detailing on the inside of where the animals can go just a trim just to give the impression that the animals cannot scratch away the walls or hurt themselves these kind of logs look like they cushion the area off a little bit and in very basic foliage the actual inside of the habitat here just a few logs some grass what i've used i think this is the drink grass and the buffalo grass and then a little bit of the enrichment items for the hogs so especially this mud bath to the right hand side i've stuck around to the end of this video thank you very much honestly because i know that this is a very long video compared to my speed build videos this is going to be over 30 minutes this video as i just wanted to demonstrate to you step-by-step -step guide on how i go about creating habitats and i hope this video will help you go about creating habitats better or differently at least but yeah our common warthogs are in and they are happy and they just fit this habitat really well anyway hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button if you're new around here then you might as well subscribe if you're into planet zoo videos i will catch you in the next planet zoo video